The next thing I'd like to point out to you is the tyres on the fifth wheeler. In America, rubber is relatively cheap. And if they get 10,000 kilometres out of a set of tyres, they're pretty happy. It's a different scenario in Australia. So what we do here in Australia is we replace the American tyres with Australian ones for peace of mind. They're not going to falter and you can access them anywhere around Australia. In relation to the running gear also, I have to make mention of the suspension upgrade. In our opinion, it's a little bit light when it comes out from America. So what we've done is to every fifth wheeler with the rocker suspension is we add an extra leaf. The leaf that we add into the suspension wraps right up around this eye bolt and acts as a secondary support if something did happen or if the main spring faltered. The next thing I need to mention is this door that we've installed in the left side. Yes, it's an Australian compliance thing. We need to install this one. The other door on the right side stays there and that's the main one that you use all the time and it's very convenient. But this one here, our objective is to make sure the fifth wheeler is compliant and also that it doesn't look obtrusive. Now this area looks a little bit busy but there are some handy things here. On the ground here, you'll find the sullage hose connection point. Now we supply this sullage hose standard with every fifth wheeler. It clips onto the sullage point here and then you empty the tanks from these two levers. There's one here for the sewerage, for the black water straight from the toilet and this one here is your grey water from your bath, your shower, your hand basin and your sink come out of this one. You simply pull those and it lets it go. This is our water hose for mains connection. Obviously when you go to a caravan park, you'll be allocated at a tap. You'll be able to connect that there and it puts mains pressure water onto your fifth wheeler. Up above the connection point for the water is this flush point. Not all fifth wheelers have it, but it's a handy device. You can connect your water hose onto here and it cleans out or flushes out your black tank after you've emptied it. They're well equipped, they've got little lights all around it in the places that you need them. If it's night time and you come out to do some of this stuff, it's going to be really handy to have this one here. Okay, I'd like to make mention of the seals that are used on the slide out. It's a question we often get about water and dust getting into the fifth wheeler. The advantage we have in Australia with imports is that we come in on the back of 20 years research and development, thank you very much, the Americans. And nowadays they use a good quality automotive seal on the inside of the slide out so no dust or water gets in. It's very effective. Across here you'll find the back working of the hot water. It's a gas and electric hot water. So if you're free camping, you've got no power, you can use it on the gas. Or if you're in the caravan park or running off the generator, you can use the electric element. Both scenarios are covered. Another storage compartment door. These are the power inlets that we've installed here in Australia. The Australian system's quite different to the American one. The Americans, they use a great big extension lead that's on board. They pull it out and plug it in for their power. But we have conventional 15 amp leads. We'll supply this 15 amp adapter and a 15 amp extension lead so you can go camping straight from our place. Inside this door here you're going to find the two 9 kilogram gas cylinders. Every model's a little bit different. In this particular one they're on a roll out rack. Makes for easy access. We've replaced the American gas bottles with 9 kilogram Australian ones, so there's no problem with gas compliance. You'll see there's a quick release mechanism for taking the hose off, the regulator, it's all inside here. While I'm talking about gas, it's probably good to make mention, we get a gas compliance certificate for every fifth wheeler. It's important that you do so, you can't get registration without it. So we've got to replace pipes with copper pipes, we put stopcocks on the appliances. We put a flame fail onto the oven if there isn't already one. All these things go to make for the compliance and therefore registration.
This switch here is the one for operating the front legs. It raises and lowers the front of the fifth wheeler when you're hitching and unhitching. In here is a massive storage compartment. We've installed a number of washing machines in this particular model right in the front here. While we're in the front area here, I really want to make mention of the hitch that goes in the back of the ute. Because it's an extraordinary item, we supply and install it as part of the cost of the fifth wheeler. These hitches are Australian compliant, which is very important, and they're easily removed from the back of the vehicle with four pins and clips on the side here. These bases stay put and the hitch slides in and out when you don't want it. In conjunction with the hitch, we also supply and install a seven pin plug in the back for plugging the fifth wheeler in and a brake control unit in the fifth wheeler. The other thing that comes from the front is a charge wire down to the back here that'll charge the batteries in your fifth wheeler. Now let me repeat, this is all part of the price of the fifth wheeler.